Peace be with you everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevor, very grateful to have you here. And today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my weekly rotation from July 1st up through the 7th. So these are the seven fragrances that got me through the week last week. A lot of these are versatile summertime picks. Some of them I were testing, getting to know for the first time. And uh, one of them I picked specifically to celebrate the 4th of July. So I went a little bit on theme for that one. Starting off with Monday though, this is one of the few fragrances that I did get a compliment on throughout the week and a new one to the collection. This is Zerzhoff Mephisto Gently Womo. I think my second time wearing it maybe, did get a compliment on it, like I said. And this is a really awesome, versatile fragrance for the summertime, one I'm really looking forward to having in the collection for years to come. Opens up with a fresh blast of mountain air, so you get that white water rapid type of watery tone with a cool briskness. Very similar to Silver Mountain Water, if you're familiar with that. And then it gets into this really nice, floral lavender combination in the mid reminds me a lot of the vintage sticker version of Dolce and Gabbana's Pour Om. There's lavender, iris, rose, violet, and that combination is just very heavenly. A lot of my favorite fragrance notes in general. So there's a good watery texture from the violet, a fresh classiness from the rose, a little bit of a powdery touch from the iris, and that gentlemanly quality coming in from the lavender. Really astounding stuff, dries down into something almost Prada-esque. It's very cold and soapy, very clean, foamy. Beautiful transition from top mid to dry down and a stellar all-star pick for the summertime in my opinion. Got a really great deal on that one. Um, originally, I put a post out in the community tab for Joma Shop having testers of those for 105. I did, first time I've ever had an issue with Joma Shop, they emailed me, let me know that they weren't gonna be getting it in stock, so I had to forego that awesome price on that. So forgive me if I put you onto any of that and you had a similar experience with Joma Shop. However, I was able to get mine for, I think, $130 full presentation from Fragrance Lord, another kind of new discount that's been popping up. No affiliation or association with them um, in terms of business, but I uh, definitely would like to shout them out. I've gotten that um, Mephisto and um, a sub $200 Creed v original vetiver full bottle. So uh, awesome discounter. Looking forward to shopping with them again in the future. Um, gave me a great price on that Zerzhoff when Joma Shop let me down, but still going to shop at Joma Shop. Uh, I have bought hundreds of fragrances from them, and this is the first time I've ever had an issue. Uh, moving into Tuesday, had Mahir Legacy from Latafa. This is $20 on Fragrance Net right now. So really amazing value to uh, price to value proposition for a fragrance. This is a take on the Mar Parfums of Marley Sedley DNA, which is my, one of my favorites for the summertime. Gets into a very minty lemon lime sprite, fizzy quality and then a beautiful creamy lavender in here. This one, because of some added spices that aren't in the Sedley, gives me a little bit more of a barbershop style feel, a little bit of that shaving foam appeal because of the way that that spice interacts with the lavender. Also gives this one a little bit more projection than the original. I think people can smell me at a greater distance and with a little bit better sillage with this Mahir Legacy. So like I said, one of the best $20 investments that I've ever made in my fragrance journey. If this were just in a little bit better of a bottle, that would be great. I do hear that there's uh, another clone of Sedley called Posh Sirius. Has been sold out for some time, but I would have been interested in getting that one because it's got a, a quite a bit better bottle than this. But for $20, can't go wrong. I highly recommend this to anybody in their fragrance journey and would recommend picking this one up over the Sedley, even though the lavender and the Sedley is a little bit more smooth and I still enjoy that as a fragrance, but I think it's way overpriced. Okay, moving into Wednesday. So Wednesday, I went with another kind of easy, dumb reach signature for the summertime. You can get away with this indoor, outdoor. It's got a nice, powdery, soft, warm quality to it. That's great for climate controlled environments, but it's a very refreshing, fizzy, and sparkly citrus that makes it great for the outdoors. It's none other than Dior Homme Sport 2021. This is my go-to in terms of speaking about both Terre d'Hermes and the Tigar DNA, which is essentially powdery sweet woods with a nice citric tone up top. This one I believe is lemon is listed, but it gives me more of an orange sensation. So similar to Terre d'Hermes in that way, but not that sharp 
dirty quality that that fragrance has and then it is just follows in the same sort of pattern that Tigar does and goes uses that lemon orange combo instead of the grapefruit but I think that that this is the middle ground there I think you know Terre d'Hermes uh, is great for a more classy mature individual but this one I think anybody can get away with and for the price point this is like 100 bucks, 110 for this 125 ml. Way better value than going ahead and getting a full bottle of Tigar for 400. Although there's some great clones out there, my favorite so far is Junoon Oud from Al Haramain for the Tigar DNA. But that was my scent of the day for Wednesday. Moving into Thursday, which was the 4th of July, and I did wear this fragrance on theme, and I think I'm gonna make a tradition out of rocking it on the 4th of July. And it was the only other fragrance, uh, sorry, out of all seven fragrances, three of them got me compliments, and this was one of them. So this is Perry Ellis's America. Pretty good projection, poor longevity. I only get about four hours with this one before I need to reapply. I think it's been discontinued, but you can still catch this one out at Amazon and eBay for under $40. I think maybe Fragrance Net or Fragrance X has it as well in stock and it's one that i've seen pop up at the discounters this is a really creamy sweet ambery take on the creed aventus dna this is pineapple this is rose this is amber this is patchouli those are the main accords that i get in here there is myrrh and birch to kind of supplement that pineapple and with a smoky incense quality to capture the creed dna but that rose patchouli amber combo reminds me a little bit of a splice between this uh between creed and rochas mustache eau de parfum or the tuxedo dna so you get that creamy smooth um fun feeling that you would otherwise be missing in a little bit more serious creed and like i said did get a compliment on this one and was a great wear for the fourth of july uh, the pineapple always matches outdoor cooking events very well in my opinion and then Friday was the last day where I did get a compliment on a fragrance. I usually like to wear niche fragrances for Friday, and this was my companion for that day. This is Mesa Francis Kirk John's Gentle Fluidity Silver. So I'm gearing up to do a full review on this one as the next fragrance I do a full review thereof. This is a really beautiful fragrance that captures the marketing quite well. It's definitely a fluid silver in terms of the way that it comes across, very clean very sharp but very fun at the same time i think this is a, uh, an office party is the ideal place to wear this because it is demanding of a little bit more of a semi-formal dressed up button shirt style attire but that fun quality comes in from a really strong juniper berry that gives it a gin and tonic type uh, sour sweet tartness so you get the sour sweet tart not not so fizzy there's no ginger in here there's no other elements that quite give it a bubbly feeling that you would get from the club soda but there is a little bit of a spicy touch in here that gives it some bite very sharp piercing juniper out in the open and then there's a little bit of vanilla that gives it some sweetness as well and otherwise a clean laundry type feeling there's a reason this one is as hyped as it is and i think it's well deserved it's super versatile super unique and super clean super masculine all the things that you would want in a fragrance are right here and i think as far as mfks i usually like to pick these up at fragrance by venba and aura fragrance usually have the best prices for these i usually don't like paying more than 180 for these 70 ml bottles so if you're interested in this one try to find yourself a discounter in that price range Moving into Saturday, so Saturday it was pretty hot out. I did a top 10 designers for the high heat fragrance video. Was not wearing any of those, but I did wear one of those for Sunday because it was even hotter Sunday than Saturday. But I had been testing out this fragrance. I was uh, in, enraptured by the hype behind this one. I picked up a full bottle, blind bought it. Really loved the marketing on it as well. I like the theme and the presentation of the fragrance. But as of right now, it's still kind of average for me. I would probably give it a six and a half to a seven out of 10. But I, I'm giving it a lot of chances and I do, before I hit a full review on it, want to wear it in the springtime because I think despite the marketing being a summer fragrance, this is a lot better suited for the springtime. In my opinion, this is Seraphim Blue from Zaharoff. So this, definitely the marketing caught me. I think the Seraphim lore is really cool something near and dear to my heart just because I have a very keen interest in um, religious studies or mystical kind of lore. 
So this one with the Seraphim here on the packaging was something that caught my eye. And I love George's um, creative direction. I think he does a really good job of his bottle designs, of these plaques are really something awesome. I feel like even though you might be paying a little bit more for the presentation, I like having stuff like this on my wardrobe um, dresser, sort of. And this fragrance though, I think I'm putting it in an average category just because blue is my least favorite genre of fragrance and it does it is a blue fragrance in my opinion um i don't think it smells that dissimilar or too unique from other blue fragrances i mean it's unique in the sense that it has notes that aren't common in those types of fragrances but the overall composition of them just comes together to be something very clean and soapy I want to say there's an iris in here that I really do adore and I think it's a really well done iris I wish the eucalyptus was a little bit more amped up a little bit more cooling and refreshing there's a salty opening to this so I get a lot of that carrying over of the marketing or like the, the there's supposed to be something about seraphim tears here and I think the saltiness in here gives me more of like a, a salty tear falling into your mouth from crying than it does like an ocean breeze even though that's there, the eucalyptus gives it a cooling effect. Uh, the other main notes I get in this are a fruity apple and a classy, gentlemanly lavender. Now, this I think I've been going nose blind to a little bit, so it reminds me of an homage fragrance in that respect because I know when I throw on Jubilation uh, or even Reflection Man, I get a nice blast of it in the opening and then I can't smell it for the remainder of the wearing experience, even if I'm really kind of digging my nose into it, but I get complimented on it out into the day. Haven't worn this out around people, so I've been wearing it around the house. Uh, Saturday, I had a little bit of a lazy day. Um, but yeah, eucalyptus, apple, lavender, iris are some of the main notes I get here. Just reminds me of a really fancy soap, I wanna say, uh, maybe like a luxury hand soap you get out of those uh, dispensers where you push and there's like that foam that comes out. A really luxury version of that. I will say, however, that because I thought I was going nose blind, I sprayed this on some clothes down here in my basement and walked away. And then when I returned later on during the day, I smelt this really nice, sweetened, cold quality to the air around me. And I was wondering what it was. And I remember I sprayed this on some jeans, some a pair of jeans down here, and I can still smell it on the jeans right now, like 48 hours later. So this is definitely a lot more potent than I had getting been getting out of the wearing experience and I'm looking forward to wearing it in the spring before I give my full review but uh, so far this is an average for my tastes but I think pretty well constructed and maybe a little bit overhyped but worth checking out I would get a sample instead of blind buying it though um, looking forward to the red version and I would love to see like an elixir version of this uh, that just amps everything up uh, like I said I uh, wish the eucalyptus would have been a little bit more cool and um piercing a little bit more like the juniper berries in here um but yeah that was seraphim blue for saturday and then sunday i wore one of the fragrances that i put in my top 10 high heat summer designers this is pour homme de caron sport really long lasting freshy there's some classical lavender vanilla combo that you would get from the caron dna that carries this uh, up to 24 hours beast mode quality and then a incredibly piercingly fresh lemon verbena that gives it this minty quality and the citric combination that almost reminds me of like a green irish tweed opening the way that the lemon verbena is done in here and then a sparkly citrus that is reminiscent of some of my other favorites um i want to say like maybe um like diorum cologne or something of that nature mixed in with that lavender vanilla combo that pour Homme de Caron is known for really awesome stuff a hidden gem for the summer going for 50 to 100 dollars on ebay and mercari right now definitely worth uh, trying out if you can get it for a good deal if it's in your budget i think this is a, a absolute class act for the summertime really glad that i have it in a collection and picked it up before it went discontinued and that was my rotation for this first week of July here. Let me know what you've been wearing in the comment section down below. And as always, I appreciate you sticking me to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.